when do you use Twitter? Do you tend to tweet mostly during your work week? Are you on Twitter during your evenings or weekends? Do you tweet late into the night? In this video, we'll summarize a first of its kind research study that explored the times during which scholars use Twitter. Because of the pressures placed on scholars to have an online presence, we wanted to learn more about the temporal habits of scholars. To do this, we identified around a thousand scholars and their type of faculty appointment. The sample consisted of scholars who are lecturers or professors at the adjunct, assistant, or associate professor level. We found that our sample of scholars posted primarily during the middle of the work week and during work hours. Only 22% of their tweets were posted on weekends. Scholars posted most on Wednesdays and least on Sundays. There was a weekly cycle where we saw a steady climb in posting activity from Sundays to a peak on Wednesdays. After that, posting activity declined throughout the remainder of the work week, and by Saturday, activity had returned back to Sunday levels. As for time of day, we found a sharp increase in the frequency of tweets which began around 6 a.m. and peaked at 10 a.m. Tweets then gradually declined until 6 p.m. At 6 p.m., the frequency of tweets began to rise again until 9 p.m. and then tapered off. Interestingly, we found that although scholars tweet less frequently after 9 p.m., they do tweet into the night. We learned that 98% of the scholars in our study had tweeted at least once between 12 a.m. and 4.59 a.m., and 88% had tweeted between 2 a.m. and 3.59 a.m. In other words, almost all scholars in our sample posted tweets during hours typically reserved for sleeping. Twitter patterns also change at different times of the year. Our sample of scholars had the lowest frequency of tweets during July and August, with a slight increase from September through December. Starting in January, we saw a rise in tweeting frequency, with a peak in the month of May. Tweeting frequency then sharply declined through June and into July. Tweeting activity seemed to follow a typical academic calendar. This study highlights a need to further investigate scholars' use of Twitter and other social media platforms to identify different patterns of use relative to time. Through such research, we can better understand how scholars are actually incorporating social media practices into their already full schedules and the outcomes, both positive and negative, related to different patterns of social media use. Thanks a lot for tuning in. If you liked this research short, please share it with your friends, colleagues, and students.